بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو چاند باغ اسکول فزکس ڈپارٹمنٹ گریڈ الیون لیسن نمبر ٹو ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ان دا پریویس لیسن وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دی الیکٹرک کرنٹ اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا پوٹینشیل ڈفرنس اینڈ ای ایم ایف آور مین فوکس ول بی ٹو differentiate or to understand the difference between potential difference and EMF. So our objectives in this uh, lesson is solve problem involving EMF terminal and potential difference, uh, internal resistance and load resistance. Also, we must be able to understand the power gains and losses in the simple circuits containing internal and load resistance. And then maybe in the lesson number three, we will also discuss ammeter and voltmeter in DC. Okay. So first of all, the definition of EMF. EMF stands for electromotive force. It is the amount of energy supplied by the source to each coulomb of charge and this is known as EMF. Or in other words, you can say it is the total chemical energy supplied to electrical charges to move in the circuit. in case of battery or cells. In other words, it is the energy supplied by some active source such as battery to the unit coulomb charge. It is measured in volts and presented by a symbol psi. Dear students, uh, in the circuit you can see the a simple circuit which consists of a battery this this dotted area shows that the it's a cell it's a complete cell and cell has its own resistance which is denoted by small r and the terminals of the cells are denoted by long line which is positive and small line which is negative and then this battery is connected in the sim in the resistance so when this uh, circuit is open this emf will be maximum because there will be no current flowing through the circuit and hence no energy is being wasted due to the internal resistance of the battery so when current is flowing some of the electrical energy is converted into heat energy due to internal resistance of this this cell okay uh, the remaining energy is ob obtained on the terminal of the battery and this energy is called terminal potential when the battery is battery is here if we just forget Uh, the internal resistance of the battery then the the energy which is being supplied by this battery will be known as terminal voltage or emf in other words if it if the battery has no resistance then the terminal potential will be equal to the emf and when this uh, battery is connected into this circuit uh this terminal potential will be supplied to the uh this this bulb this one bulb which is considered as a resistor and potential will be will be supplied to the resistor in the circuit so emf is finally defined as the total chemical energy of this of the source like battery supply to one coulomb charge to move through the closed circuit so this is what the total energy is supplied by the cell 
and since cell has its own res internal resistance so when the uh, charges flow through the cell some of the energy is used or wasted or converted into other form of energy like heat when the current is passing through this uh, cell or the charges are passing through this cell <coughs> so this uh, emf is measured in volts and the symbol is this one now potential difference the potential difference is the is defined as the electrical energy initially in emf we said it's a chemical energy because the non electrical energy is being converted into electrical energy so in this case the electrical energy dissipated across the resistor into another form of energy like heat energy or light energy or both heat and light in case of the bulb and you know that in bulb there is there are two forms of energy are being produced which is light energy and heat energy so it is denoted by v and unit is also volt uh if we just say that uh, what's the difference between the uh terminal potential and the emf the emf is the open circuit potential difference so you can call it potential difference or emf but when uh, you see the, there is no current passing through the through the circuit if circuit is open or switch is off then the emf is the potential difference of the cell and the terminal voltage for closed circuit is reduced to the internal resistance due to internal resistance inside the source so uh, when the uh, the current is passing some of the energy is wasted or converted into another form of the energy now we will talk about the equation equation for terminal potential here you can see an open circuit and the total battery has 1.5 volt this is also called emf so no current is passing so the terminal potential is also equal to the emf but when the circuit is closed here like in this circuit so the emf the total energy try to push the electron in the closed path so there are two resistors one is the small resistor which is the internal resistance of the battery and other is the resistance of the bulb so when the current passes in through the, these resistors so the energy is dissipated across this bulb as well as some of the energy is converted to overcome this resistance hence the terminal potential is reduced definitely uh, and that will be uh, the you see uh, i uh, the uh, total emf minus the energy wasted or converted to overcome the internal resistance of the battery so by applying ohm's law we will say that the poten terminal potential will be equal to the total emf minus the energy dissipated in due to the internal resistance okay now finding the current in the simple circuit according to ohm's law i is equal to uh this emf divided by the total resistance now the total resistance as we have already discussed that the resistance of the internal resistance of the battery plus the load resistance which is connected in the circuit and vt is the terminal potential which is uh, across the load resistor because and the 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 energy supplied at the terminal is for the load resistance 
So equation becomes I is equal to this is total current is equal to EMF divided by total resistance sum of the two resistance because these are both resistors are in series. So in series the resistors are added. Hence by cross multiply we get the equation IR plus I small r is equal to EMF. And uh, this IR is also called capital IR is also called the terminal potential. Hence terminal potential is equal to EMF minus IR. This is the same equation as in the previous slide. Uh, in this example actually we will see that a battery of 3 volt has uh, its internal resistance 0 0.5 ohm. So you can see this uh, internal resistance of the battery here has a resistance of 0 0.5 ohm is connected with a, a resistor of 4 ohm. So this is load resistance. What current is delivered and what will be terminal voltage? This is what we are going to find. So in the solution, I is equal to EMF divided by the total resistance if we put the values. To, so the EMF is a 3 volt battery. It's a total energy supplied by the battery or chemical energy converted into the electrical energy. So 3 volt divided by the 4 ohm which is the load resistance plus 0 0.5 ohm which is the internal resistance of the battery and uh, this becomes 3 over 4.5 so by calculating we get the current so this current is passing this current is passing through the circuit closed circuit and now we have the uh, terminal potential voltage equation from the previous slide that is Vt is equal to EMF minus I small r. Vt is equal to this EMF minus I small r. So 3 volt which is EMF minus 0 0.667 which is the current which we have just determined multiplied the internal resistance. So after calculation we get the terminal potential 2.67 volt and you can see in the circuit the load resistance here you can consider as bulb and uh, the battery has in its internal resistance uh, this one 0 0.5 ohm so 3 volt is the total EMF of the battery now we will calculate the power in the circuit and if we remember the simple definition of the power uh, that is it is the work done or energy per unit time but in case of the electrical power that is voltage into voltage time current in the circuit so the main formula for power is equal to P is equal to VI P is capital V voltage times I current or putting the value of uh, this V is equal to IR the, it also becomes P is equal to I square R or another derivation comes from these formulas P is equal to V square over R. So the first formula which is this one is associated with the power gain or losses through EMF and these two formulae they are associated with the external loads which is uh, like the, the bulb or the motor or whatsoever. Now the power potential and EMF in the in the simple circuit 
uh, we are going to discuss here is a simple circuit uh, it's the same simple circuit as we have already discussed there is a load resistance and battery and battery its internal resistance of the battery and uh, according to the terminal voltage equation vt is equal to emf minus i into internal resistance of the battery so by multiplying i on both sides vt into i this is uh, vt into i is equal to e into i minus i into r this becomes i square r so vi again it's a power according to the formula voltage into i it's also formula power minus i square r this is also the power so we can say that the total power which is due to emf is consumed into two parts or dissipated into two parts one across the load resistance this one and other uh, inside the battery so the power delivered to the external circuit is equal to the power developed in the emf less than the power lost through the internal resistance because whatever the energy is dissipated inside the battery like battery is heating that is of no use but the power dissipated across the load resistance yes it can be used or it can be uh, utilized in the form of light and heat so uh, we know that um, we have already calculated in the previous example the current passing through the circuit in the same example and the potential difference so from the equation of the power uh, this emf power or the total power of the battery is potential of the battery 3 volt in times the total current so this becomes 2 watt so we can consider that this battery this battery is of 2 watt now out of the 2 watt power sum of the power is uh, consumed or lost due to the internal resistance so that is i square small r so this is the power loss in the internal and now you can say the power in the emf is 2 watt power lost due to the internal resistance is 0.22 watt and uh, the power lost or power converted in the load resistance is i capital square into r capital which is 0 0.66 square times 4 ohm 4 ohm is the load resistance so this is 1.78 watt okay this power can also be found using vt formula this is uh, terminal potential times the current so terminal potential times the current 2.67 uh, times the 0 0.667 ampere so this becomes 1.78 so the total power of the battery due to emf this one emf will be consumed in the in the two ways that one part of the power is dissipated here due to the internal resistance which is considered as power loss and then the power gain or power conversion is done here across the load resistance uh, this this is gained in the form of light and heat 
so we can say the emf power is uh, uh, you see in two parts so power in emf is 2 watt power loss due to the internal resistance is 0.22 watt and power lost in external load resistor this this cannot be considered as power lost because it is being converted into heat and light so we can say it we can use heat and uh, we can use light so these are useful energies being produced or being converted <coughs> all right so in this uh, discussion we have discussed actually that what is the uh, power and emf and potential difference and internal resistance of the battery in the next lesson inshallah we will discuss the batteries in series batteries in parallel and voltmeter in the circuit and ammeter in the circuit